Welcome, hello everybody, welcome back to another Let's Play Point Spongebob Squarepen, Battle for Bikini Bottom, getting our 100 golden spatulas. This is your lovely host, Super Sonic. And the last part, we finished up Rock Bottom. One of my least favorite levels, and now we are going to start another level, which is Shady Souls, our friend, where our good friends, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, are in. So let's take a look and see what they've got. Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh. Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, it would be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goody! Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? Oh, boy, would I? Okay, then. Uh... But lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yeah. yet? It seems we gotta help out our favorite heroes, Merman and Barnacle Boy, with our mission. To do something with the robots down there, those sneaky robots. And I forgot what you get if you destroy all the things, so I'm not so destroy all the things. This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor Plankton has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. Yeah. Okay, let's fix up the TV. Yay, we fixed the TV, and as we did that, we get another sock and we see a giant Patrick going loose. That is not very good. But so well, we got another sock from Shady Souls, our good old friend. So let's get some things out of here, and I think... Is anything over? No. So let's enter the Mermelair. We see activates a button, which the cows goes up, and we get to jump down, and then it goes back again. So we are now entering the Mermelair, the shortest level in the game, probably. Yes. Let's see, now it's the Mermelair, the headquarters for Merman Man and Barnacle Boy. And they are sitting over there, so we'll talk about them later, but first... Let's get some things out of the way over here. Oh, might as well do this. So, go over here. Go back. Boink! So let's go to talk to our heroes. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Yeah, because they cannot do it themselves, we gotta fix our lazy job for them. Because they need to go to the doctor's place, and now we are a young sponge, and we need to do this job for them. Now these ones don't step on the red squares with a disco floor. Because you basically already can tell. Red is the color. Bang! 
and the hammer is also a part of the pain. And these fossil power generators don't touch them all the energy beam. You don't want to touch those. But if you look closely over there, there's a path down here, which is supposed to be boning alley. So get out the bubble ball and see if we can do this in one shot. Yes, we can. And this gives us a purple shiny object. Which is pretty useful. And you may seem to notice that my shiny object count is off than from the last part. Because when I checked today, when I'm about to play this, let's play this. It seems it didn't save um, me getting the last sock, so I... This robot is named Arf. Use the ball ball to defeat him. It seems it didn't save after I collected the uh, Ninthuck. Ninthuck. So uh, Mies had to count again, so that means the pointless amount of backtracking was never done. And in the pointless amount of backtracking, I got a, sh a shootload of those shiny objects. Which we don't have to hard. Which I probably can get right now. Yeah, I'm saving us because he needs to die first. And now he's dead. So now we can go back and get everything I missed. I don't think there's anything really important that I missed over there. Nah, just some tickies with some cool more shiny objects. Some shiny objects, not gold. To be per se, but shiny nonetheless. So, get me up there. This is one of my favorite teams, it just sounds awesome. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, not really. Just heroic. And we get to play as Patrick as well in this level. So let's go and destroy those things. Start around Kalifuna region and you can use the ball ball to turn pedal wheels. Ball one side of the pedal to make it turn. And what we want to do is go over there. But if you continue on spinning this all the way over there you get to see a hook, which I never found on my own. And if you dive over here, there's a sock over there. Which is basically the only purpose for that. Just that sock. And since now we get to move a little bit o over to the right. So hit it over here. And the pedal thing will move over to the right. Oh my god, it's so obvious. Oh my god, you, sucker. Okay. Now we need to move on over here. And get a checkpoint. And go there. And we need to hit the switch, and the sign will tell you, obviously. A bubble ball can also be used to press buttons. Yeah, we cannot reach it with our bubble net, like this. Once we need to bubble ball it. But we just did it, so we're fine. Oh, um, must just jump over it. Who needs some silly things? And we get our first spatula of this level. Sweet! Bye, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is number 38, which means we are almost um, capable of going to the next area of Bikini Bottom. Which we can get our final power of the bubble rocket launcher, of the bubble bubble cruise. Let's first go to the Mermelair main chamber, which most of these patch files were going to be. I think so, yeah. The Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, putties. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda. And no, Squidward does not like... Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. In fact, <coughs> excuse me. 
In fact, Squirrel doesn't like anybody. So, what you see, you can turn so a bot. If you turn one way. If you can. If you, dude! Hold on. But if you turn. One, oh, let's see if I cannot make it from here. I thought I could. I know I can. See, there's a perfect shiny object over there. Since we seem not to be able to make it, oh well. No, we should be able to make it. Ugh. Fine. Since we can't go back either. Hold on, let me just try one thing. Yes, we can go back. Since we cannot hit it. Not right anymore, can we? Yeah, we can. But that was just weird. He just cut, cut through the platform. Oh, there's a probably shiny object over there. That was weird. Okay, let's cut through the platform one more time. This game is glitchy. Can you tell? <laughs> no way! Uh, yeah, mm, seems most logical to me if you just turn around over there, but... Oh well. Yeah, and the stock count is not that much. We only got four stocks in there. And we already got one, so... We're pretty much okay. And it seems the platform is moving. Go just time and try to go over there. We cannot go there yet because we need to activate those walls over there. Now you do it, you ask? Well, we need to hit two more switches. But first, let's go over here and change it to Patrick. Because we will be, we will be needing for this one. I got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw the throw fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tooth. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend Yay. to explode. But first, what we want to do is go over here. Yeah, we're going to we're going to do this in a second. No worries. Yeah, the TV is not fixed. We cannot fix the TV. So let's go over here and use this TV tower, which launches us all the way over here. Hey, I know you. You're that guy. Hmm. We're gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. No way, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those yeah. cylinders. And we, if you, yeah, we want to use one of those four switches, which is going to be handy over later. And that's done. And that goddamn phone is not not stop ringing. So I'll be right back. And there I am back again. It was just my mother calling for me doing stuff. But since I done it, I can start this. <laughs> Boy, it really sounds tired. Flick. Okay, good. Yeah, what we want to do is these all those things. Need to be standing forward. I always hate those puzzles. I never get to see me get it right. Uh, I sound tired. Because it seems like every time I talk, I feel really tired. Well, my voice gets really tired after just talking so many times. It's weird. Um, and I never get to see this puzzle right. I suck at those kind of puzzles. Um. This one. Then this. I said this one. Feels like El Ping is an Olympic sport. Would be kind of nice though. Silly. But nice if Let's Playing was an Olympic sport, wouldn't it? And now for the 200. And now for the 20 minutes of Let's Playing for America, it's Timothy! Yeah! 
And for Holland, it's Supersonic! Yay! It will be weird. And this probably gonna take a while. Because I already suck at these puzzles. Okay, one, two. What you want to do is there are three open. And those three you can hit. And it seems I have two in a minute. Yeah, great. Okay. All open, except that one. Which why I want to do is this. And then activate this one. Um, this. I'm going round in circles, in circles, in circles. Going round in circles, you got to love it. Uh, get, 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 get. And this one. I'm going round in circles <laughs> again. Yep. So, can you tell that I don't like this puzzle? Um, if you can't, then you're silly. Because, I mean, come on, it's very obvious. Um, I think we've got. No, I don't. I. Oh, I thought was the phone was ringing. Like, oh god, not again. Thought I heard no phone, so it's good. Uh, this one. And then I've got two over here, and then it's this one. And my practice file, I got this fairly easily, but now I'm just... ...failing like from right. It's just completely weird. Well, I guess I could some talk about something when I'm doing this. It would be weird if Let's Playing was an Olympic sport. But uh, then again, it would be pretty fun to do, I guess. Because you could be talking. Lots of people will be watching. He gets tons of subscribers, which has nothing to do with this. But okay, if you can, this should be doable. Okay, moving on. And then this one. I think I'm heading to something. If I hit that one, this one, this one will turn around, and that will open, and it will close. And this one, point. And the middle one gets stuck. Which I don't want. I do not want. Do not want. Point. Um, if I do this, they won't get turned around. This one. Those two will get turned around. It seems like a three left. If I hit the middle one, it should be good. There we go. Done. I don't know how long it took. Five minutes almost. It's ridiculous, man. It shouldn't take that long, but we got it, so... Ah, uh, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden... All spatula. of that for a foot bath? You suck. You really suck. And I'm talking about suck. Yeah, this switch is going to be important for my slayer for a boss battle at the end of this level. Yeah, it's going to be a boss battle. And jump at the exact same uh, right time because I suck in midair. This is what I was talking about suck. Okay, now we got to help Mermaid Man. Mermaid Man. Mermaid Man. And his friend Barnacle Boy. Barnacle in crime, and I'm going to fall. E, what you want to do is throw it. Landing on us. This one is the hardest one, so might as well do this one first. You want to do this, throw it on the other side. <laughs> at the other side, not throwing at the cliff. On. Turn around. Anyway, where's the melon? Ready to go. Ready to go. There it is. Okay, take two. And third at the other side. Then, get this one again and then fall down, fall down, fall down, fall down, fall down. Throw it over here. I said not over there. Yay! You get to do this a lot of times. Don't you just love it? No, I don't. I think it sucks. 
and see if we can make it from here. Yeah, I did. I made it to the other side. But if the man is still will be there, that's the question. No, it's still there. What you want to do is make it start over there and survive. Well, survive is going to be more difficult than ever. Right, I'm starting to talk very fast in my mouth the hole. Seems I make it. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Throw! Sweet! <laughs> See, I'm talking very fast in my mouth the hole. Something like that. And this one is pretty easy. Just go around it. That's it. That was easy. That was stupid. Ah, okay, not very. Yeah, that works too. Um, I'm being too careless over here. Okay, today is May the 3rd. Which is nothing really special. I'm still uh, enjoying my one week off. And this is pretty good, one week off. I have to do nothing at all and being lazy. And as we all know, being lazy is awesome. Yeah, this time you gotta follow a certain path. But also take the melon on time. Because we don't have much time until the melon falls. Okay. And the music will still play. If you're still over here. And I think it will activate it. Yep, now it's activated again. And what happened? You did it! Now I can get some sleep. Yay! I can get some sleep, and he's watching a blue screen. No wonder how it's boring. And since we got 40 spatulas, now we can take on the next boss of the world. Which I'm not going to do. Point. Ha 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 ha. Ooh ah ah ah. Ooh ah Evil Patrick. Okay. Not really. That is Patrick! Finally. Mmm, finally said the sentence. That James has been saying all the freaking time. This is Patrick! It's a scene from the SpongeBob cartoons. Meaning everything about this is a huge parody of the cartoons. This is basically a part storyline. And so far we in. It's just nine minutes, but I don't know how long the other one took. So I think I might know when I'm going to stop. So this level jump is activated. Sweetness! Okay, die. Ow. Ouch. And we get another one of those Urk robots or whatever they're called. Just in quite a distance. Whee! Let's land those robots. Dogs. Point. Another one. Whoops. Die! Right in the leg. And it hurts. And I don't care about it. So. Let's go there. There's also one more suck up here somewhere, if I believe. And one more switch over there as well. So, let's so can hit it. And now we can go back down there. And get ourselves the... Go back to the other side. And there's also a couple there that doesn't seem like it. So... Let's go along the slide. Or slide down way to the thing where we start. Purple semi objects, by the way. This better get this. So better get one if you want to succeed. <laughs> Did I get the switch somewhere around here? I think I did. Oh, I thought it was also a switch around here, but it seemed like it. And I don't want to miss it because it will take me some backtracking. But it seems I got it, so no worries. And you got a lot of those robots. No, I personally hate the crap out of them since I. Almost dead. Wink. Stupid duplicate Tron, I hate you. Yeah, she's got a wall jump. And if you didn't activate those walls, this would be one wall. But since we activate this, now we can go over there. And go over there. And talk to the computer. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermal Air. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the Master Shutdown button. 
You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listen! Eh. Got it! Okay. Now get her gone spatula! Yay! Yep, Spongebob like likes it. So, I'll think, um... Was there something about it behind the computer? Yeah, I'm a pair of unaware. Two shiny objects. Get so, get this box, give some backtracking. And this switch. Number two. And we can press this one yet. Which will create a path over there. All the way over there. Might as well go to that message dancing sign over there. It will say it. Press the master shutdown button to lower the bridges to the villain containment system area. Which we are going to fight a boss. But we are going to do that in the next part. Because I probably took a lot of time for this mission. So in the next part we are going to continue through the Marmalair and probably finish up this level. So I'll thank you for watching. This is your lovely host Zubisonic signing off. See you then and see you at the next part.